a fun word to say, oh, Gutterman, what is the largest manufacturer in the world for gutter machines, which is incredible. And we're standing in front of your Mindigo products here that they've adapted to three Akuma machines, and they're bringing in more because they just, they're tired of manually loading and unloading, aren't they? And this is where you guys really shine. So let's go over the benefits of Mitoco in general and then how they've utilized it here at this company. Tony, thank you very much. And KW Gutterman is one of my one of my favorite customers here in Illinois. Uh, it's a truly a, a real success story. The product they build and the product, uh, the way they're using the Mitoco product and the fact that they benefit from it so greatly. Um, the very first sales meeting I came on here with Max Tucker, which you heard from before, uh, we had a conversation. He was looking into automation and he showed me that he had a, a robot installed on one of his Akuma M560. And he said, Mike, we're considering your product or we're considering another robot. And I said, Max, you need to really give the Mighty Co a try. And we talked about all the benefits of the Mighty Co, all the loading outside. And he really took it to heart, did a lot of justification and decided it was Time to give a Mighty Co a try, and here we are, three Mighty Co's later. It seems to be the right fit for these guys. Now, Mike, I've never been a fan of kicking a dead horse or being repetitive when it comes to conversation, but honestly, for those of you watching, it really is that simple. If you have a vertical machining center and you are tired of that downtime of the load, unload, air blow off, and you want to do it outside the machine to keep the spindle running as much as possible, that's where Mitoco shines. It really is that simple to say, well, this is my sales tactic. This is how I can convince. It's not even like a convincing moment. Are you tired of manually loading and unloading and having that downtime and do you want to be more productive? It's really that simple, Tony, 100%. Justification is always a very difficult subject when, when considering a piece of equipment. And the Mitoco does not make parts faster, it just makes more parts. End of the day, it's just making more parts. And it really is, I mean, it's making more parts by keeping the uptime on the spindle. But nothing changes about the machine no, itself. No. Whatever high quality machine that someone wants to utilize your product on, it's really about that load and unload time. Right. We have a young man working right now that's loading and unloading about 30 seconds to 45 seconds on about a minute to a minute and a half machine cycle time. Now, if he had one of these, which I believe is going there next actually, but if he has one of those on there, that's doubling his output in the same eight hour period as he would have done previously. 100%, 100%. And a nice thing that you just mentioned, of course, is that machine over there is suited to get a Mighty Co pallet changer. That machine's been in service four or five years already. So not only when you buy a new machine, but when you're evaluating your your throughput and your, your bottlenecks, Mighty Co might be the solution for your current machine. Exactly right. And let's also talk about the flexibility and adaptation of you're not limited to a certain work holding brand. You're not limited to being able to not use or use quick change pallets. And you're not limited to the potentials of, depending on machine size, a trunnion table or two trunnion tables going in. So we are now talking about an automated pallet change of a three plus two if we'd like to adapt to that. Absolutely, absolutely. And what I like to tell customers is, hey, whatever you're doing today inside the machine, well, you can still do it the same way. You're just going to do it more productively. You're going to do it on two pallets. So there may be eight vices involved. Two on, you know, four on one pallet, four on the other pallet. The whole idea is the pallet is going to come out onto the pallet changer and allow you to change parts while the machine is making chips. So 15, 18 seconds, the pallet's in the machine making chips. If you're not making chips, you're not making money, they say, right? right. The way I want to close this whole thing out is that in the situation that we're standing in front of right now, there was an adaptation to an existing machine. So for the audience watching right now, we can, if we want to, order the Mitoco product along with the machine, and they can come together. But also, if there's existing machines, which I would make the discussion, that's probably nine times out of ten, right? We have a shop floor full of machines that we need adaptations and upgrades to right. as we're becoming more globally competitive. You can adapt these to an existing machine, and a fun guy with a Sawzall comes in and just... <laughs> yeah. That's the conversation we had with Max this morning. Uh, he was kind of surprised when the Mitoco technician showed up and... Uh, took his saws out, basically, I like to tell people we modify the side of your machines, but he cuts a hole in the side of your machine so that the Mighty Co can bring pallets in and out. And the pallet, if the machine travel is 40 by 20, pallets are 40 by 20, two of them. It's, it's really, really that simple, and I don't think we need to elongate this any further. Just the flexibility, the ability to adapt, the uptime. At this point, 
even though common sense isn't so common these days, it's almost common sense to go if you're manually loading and unloading on your vertical machine, at least take a look and make a phone call. Yeah, it's really that simple. And this is a really great guy to talk to, my buddy Mike here, Mitico Corporation. I'm sure we can utilize it through Google, but what's the exact website? It's www.mitico-corp.com. Reach out to us. I'm one of the many mics there. You'll be able to talk to a mic for sure. My buddy Mike on a mic has done an incredible, incredible job today sharing this story. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You, I do appreciate it. My